our planet is on fire. We see this summer with the droughts, the wildfires. We really know are seeing the cost of climate change and it will just be increasing uh, in the years to come. It does not respect borders and the only way moving forward is that we realize that we're in the same boat and we have to collaborate. We are two great countries, however, a different historical background. How they can continue to cooperate, that is the overwhelming problem of our period. Im Augenblick heißt das große Zauberwort, beginnend bei Trump, aber fortgesetzt von Joe Biden, decoupling. So I think that's one source of misunderstanding that Americans don't understand the way in which Chinese people can work together to solve a common problem. Take the question of inequality. Now, inequality is a huge problem in the United States, but everywhere, more or less, in Europe, it's been growing uh, steadily in the, in the neoliberal era uh, since 1980. Es geht um einen respektvollen Dialog auf Augenblick. Aber es gibt auch keine Alternative, die erfolgversprechender ist. We should not let the differences in our systems block that type of cooperation. The United States has to stop thinking in terms of dominance. Civilizations don't speak or act with a common voice.长城所代表的这样一个文化叫多元利益平衡基础上不要敢于和他们交流